This is a demo of the MVVM plus state management package. I'm going to be writing this simple counter app that increments a letter or a number. And it has three states, the letter state, the number state, and the state of the floating action button. The code will be available in a link below. So to start off, I need to add the MVVM plus state management package to our project. And the other thing I'm going to want to do is add the MVVM plus extension, which will make writing classes a bit easier. OK, so now I'm ready to go here. So the first thing I'm going to add is the import main function in my app widget. And so there's nothing MVVM plus specific aside from the imports here. Uh, the next thing I need to do is add my counter page. So if we were using stateful widgets, we would use the stateful widget snippet, which would create two classes for us, the stateful widget class and the state class. Uh, but we're using MVVM plus, uh, which is very similar. So I'm going to use the MVVM plus snippet, hit enter, and then just specify my counter page name for my view, and it automatically named my view model counter page view model. So the next thing I need to do is populate my view model. So what I have now is two states in my view model, a number count and a letter count. And the number count is an int primitive, and the letter count is a value notifier. And the only reason they're different is I'm just demonstrating the three different ways to declare states. You could have made these both primitives. You could have made them both value notifiers. So the next thing I have here is the init state method. And just as the state class of stateful widget has init state and dispose, uh, view model also has init state and dispose. So here I'm adding a listener to the value notifier. So every time the value notifier is changed, the listening method build view is called and the view rebuilt. Here's my function to increment the number. And what I'm doing is I just check if the number is nine and if so, I wrap. Otherwise I just increment the number. And because I'm using a primitive here, I need to explicitly call build view. And then for increment letter, I just do the same wrapping approach. I check if it's a Z, and if so, I wrap it to A. Otherwise, I increment it. And I don't have to call build view explicitly here because when I set my value, the value notifier will call build view for me. Now, this, this will all work fine. Um, I find this is more code than I need. So another approach is to add the listener at the declaration. So I'm going to add the listener, and here I'm going to add build view. So the compiler is a little angry because it doesn't allow me to do this at initialization. So all I have to do is use late initialization. There. So now that does what this does, and I can get that get rid of that. So it's much cleaner that way. The next thing I need to do is populate the view build function. And what we have here is just mostly just standard Flutter code. We have a scaffold and a row for our two values, and the two values are text values. The only MVVM plus code here is we have our view model getter that is a member of view that is used to access the view's view model. So I use the getter to get the letter count value, and I use the, the getter to get the number count value. So just as before, I use the MVVM plus snippet and add my increment button view and view model. And just as before, I'll populate the view model first. OK, so what we have here is uh, our third state is number, which tells us the state of the, the floating action button. And this state's declared a little bit different. We use the create property method of the view model and all that is is the equivalent of calling value notifier but create property assumes that you're going to be calling build view and adds that listener in for you so that's all done through there 
Other than that, we have our build text display, and here's our function for incrementing the values. Now, within that function, it checks are we incrementing the number or the letter, and it has this get method, which gets the counter page view model and then calls either increment number or increment letter. Now, the only problem at the moment is counter page view model is not available to any widgets other than its view. By default, the view and view mod and its view model are heavily coupled and not publicly available to others. So what we have to do is change that. So within the counter page super constructor where we have our builder, I can specify a location for where I want the view model to be made available. And I have two options. I can add it to a registry or I can add it to the tree as an inherited widget. So for this one, I'm going to add it to the registry. And now we have no red bars in our margins, so let's see if this runs. So it runs, but it looks like we don't have a floating action button, and I see why. I populated the view model, but I did not populate the view. I'm just displaying a container. So let's do that now. So I just added a floating action button, and when it is pressed, it calls the increment counter of the view model and retrieves the button text of the view model and displays it. So let's save that. And there is my fab. So let's give it a try. Okay, looks like it's working. So the last thing we're missing is the color service that changes the color of the values. So I'm gonna add a color service in now. So what I did here was add our color service, which extends model. It has a timer that fires periodically and sets the color value to one of our four colors. Now the color value is our third state, which is created with create property. So now we can listen to color, but first we need to make those color services available to the other widgets by adding them to our widget tree. So I'm going to add two. The first one I'll put on the top of our widget tree. And for this, we use the by locator widget. By because we can put the service in one of two locations. So it's angry at me because we haven't given it a, a builder for our service. So I set the builder parameter to our color service. And for milliseconds, I'm going to say 1500 milliseconds. And I need to tell the by locator what type of service it is building. So now I can listen to that service. I'm going to remove the const value and set the color to that service. Now I'm going to add a second service that instead of being in the registry will be on the tree. I'm going to arbitrarily add that to our wrap our counter page widget with a new widget that is going to be our by locator widget. locator, which again, we need to tell it that we're listening to a color service. And it's I need to give it a builder to tell it what to build. And as before, we're going to be building a color service with, I'm gonna use 2250 for milliseconds. And the other thing is, by default, the location is the registry. But I'm going to change the location here. So we specified registry before. We didn't have to. I'm going to specify the location this time to be the tree. Now I'm looking over. Oh, yeah. And then so now nobody's listening to that at the moment. So I'm going to go back down to our, tech, our other text value and add 
a listener for that. So here I added my listener, and it's just a little angry because I was still the points there. There, so we have no red in our margin, so let's give that a try. Okay, so after a hot restart, we have our colors, and our app is incrementing. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please add comments below. Thank you.